We are now in, in Balonte Mengor Forest Complex, so then we want to take a boat ride to the forest, to Temengor. In the office and reading you can learn the theory, but it's often when I spend some time in the field when I really think this I want to this is what I want to know. Here's a frog that I have no idea what kind. But it's very cute. It's about this time, around 9.30 to 10, you get a different species of gibbons calling to them. They, they live in families, they are, they are monogamous and they are quite stable in the, in the family structure. And then one group we call and then another family will spawn and it's, you can hear all the families. And it kind of feels good. It's very, very enjoyable when you hear that in the forest. We're in a place where elephants come to eat in soil. So then, it's like there are many, many videos of Africa where some places where elephants come and, and big walls and they, they really make caves. Here's a smaller scale, but elephants also come and, and they will see some, some of the holes that they dig. And we don't know exactly what kind of minerals they're looking for. Could be that they're coming to, to get some minerals to supplement the diet. So we have balanced one hour, 33 minutes. This is a four hour uh, memory card. So there's three hours of videotape data here. So something has triggered it? Yeah, yeah. And you need to, where, where, when do you actually? Well, IMSA has his laptop here. We can actually download and see, have a look at the pictures. IMSA, you want to see the data here? Wow, baby elephant. Yeah, male. And there's a male with little tusks. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit low this time. We have to put it a little bit higher. Either you can't get the one in front or you can cannot get the one in the back. New species here. Eh? New species. What's that? Kapi. Kapi! Oh, this is the first one here. Sweet. This is the oh, first yeah. one here. It's alone. It's a tapir. It's a tapir. So that's the first time you've... In this place, In yes. this place, yes. Yeah, we have taken it in other places, but we were wondering why not, because this is a very good place for tapirs. Mm. And maybe just there's so much elephant presence that they don't come. Porcupine. Yeah. <laughs> this is the word two. One, one left earlier. Three. Yeah. They're funny. They're very funny. Yeah. This is a female. This is with a family. And in previous videos they were playing. It was, they, they seem to be very, very relaxed, very comfortable. And in general they are very fat and very healthy, which is a very good sign. Well, what we want to do is a uh, in a way bring a change in culture in which management of wildlife is done based on science, based on scientific information. I think elephants are the best, or one of the best species because they are very charismatic, they, they have big uh, special requirements, uh, and they are so very conflict prone, so you need to include people in the equation to conserve them. And I think the idea is we, if we can come with a model of uh, evidence-based conservation of, of elephants, that would be a significant improvement. So then that will help a lot to elephants themselves. That will make a much more sensible conservation of elephants. But I think also it can be a kind of a, a role or a model for other species to, to follow, or just, just conservation in general.